The cold shoulder sleeve is a style of sleeve in which your shoulders are exposed. There are many steps to sewing this sleeve, but it's worth it to get this flirty style. I'm using a commercial pattern for this demonstration. I'll be cutting two pieces for my woven fabric and will be utilizing single folded bias tape. You'll notice the shape of the sleeve is different than normal inset sleeves. Since the top of the sleeve is not attached to the bodice, we'll use bias tape to help finish the edge. Unfold one side of the bias tape and press. Pin the unfolded side of the bias tape to the inner half circle of each sleeve. Make sure to place them together right side to right side and that the raw edges are even. Stitch the bias tape at 3 8 of an inch with a regular length straight stitch. Trim your seam allowance and clip notches in your seam allowance only, being careful not to cut any stitches. This will help the seam lie flatter when it's eventually turned to the inside. Pull the bias tape up and out away from the fabric so that you see the right side of the bias tape and the seam allowance is under the bias tape. Stitch next to the seam line on the bias tape side attaching the seam allowance to it. This is called understitching. Now turn the bias tape so that it is on the wrong side of the sleeve fabric and press. Baste close to the bottom folded edge of the bias tape. You don't have to do any back stitching since we'll eventually remove this. Then look at the right side and do a regular straight stitch right next to the basting stitch for a nice top stitch. When you finish this, you can remove the basting stitch. We just finished the top raw edge of our sleeve. Next, we'll tackle the underarm sleeve. Bring the underarm seam edges together right side to right side and pin. They should share a notch for you to match up. Sew the seam allowance suggested by your pattern. I'm sewing this at 5 eighths of an inch. Don't forget to backstitch. After you sew your seam, press it open. I'm then going to do a narrow hem at the bottom of my sleeve. I have my sleeve wrong side out. Pin the perimeter 1 quarter inch to the wrong side and press. I'll stitch right next to the pressed edge using a regular length straight stitch. Trim the raw edge getting close to your stitches. Then fold up another eighth inch and stitch again next to the folded edge. This will give us a very delicate hem, perfect for lightweight, silky fabrics. Now it's time to attach our sleeve to the armhole of our bodice. I've already started my bodice by sewing the front bodice to the back bodice. My bodice is wrong side out and my sleeve is right side out. Slip the sleeve inside the bodice so when we start pinning, the fabrics will be right side together. You'll want to match up any notches or marks as the sleeve will only be attached to the bottom of the armhole. Single notch with single notch, double with double. Also match any circle marks and seam allowances. If your notches are not the same, you probably just have it in the wrong armhole and should try the other side of the bodice. Stitch your recommended seam allowance. My pattern suggests 3 8 of an inch for this. Don't forget to backstitch. That's it! Our sleeve is now attached to the bodice. The top part of the armhole above our sleeve still needs to be finished, so I'll be using the same bias tape method shown before to do it. Here you can see the right side of my unfinished garment with the cold shoulder sleeve in place and the top of my armhole has been finished with bias tape. Now you only need to repeat all these steps to put in the sleeve on the other side and finish the rest of your garment. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please subscribe to get notified of our weekly releases. Also check out ProfessorPincushion.com to view our complete library with well over 350 sewing tutorials. If you would like to directly support us, you can check out our Patreon campaign and earn some exclusive perks. Thanks for watching.